Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you're all well. It is the most miserable day here today. Solid rain, it's been going all night as well and all yesterday evening. I was hoping that I could do this spring summer video with a little bit of sunshine pouring through the window, but instead I've had to basically put the camera as far to the window as possible to get as much light because it's so dark. So I'm hoping that you can't hear the rain too much. But anyway, I'm here to do a spring summer haul to show you what I've been picking up recently. If you're new here, I'm between a size eight to 10, usually a size small, and I'm five foot six because people always ask me that, but let's get straight on in with one of my favorite pieces, which I'm wearing today, which is from H&M. This color is absolutely one of my favorites. And funny enough, it's the color that I painted our bathroom in recently. It matches perfectly when Ollie, my partner saw it, he was like, did you pick that for the bathroom? I'm just loving, loving the colour. It's a really lovely oversized blouse. The thing that I kind of was drawn to it the most by is the texture of the material. I'm going to be putting up full length clips to the side here so you can see what everything looks like full length, how it fits on. But the texture is really, really lovely. Um, it almost looks a little bit linen-y from a distance, but it's not. It's more of a cotton material. And it is so soft, like gorgeously soft. I actually sized up in this one and went for a size medium because I didn't know how oversized it naturally would be. And to be honest, I probably could have gone for a size small, but I've been wearing it recently, kind of still at home, working from home and spending a lot of time at home in my leggings. You can't see, but I've got my leggings on here. Um, and it's really comfy because it just, you know, it covers my bum. It's really nice and big and baggy. It's really cool, even though we've not got the heat quite yet. Pretty much just a 10 out of 10 for me. I always know that when I keep gravitating to things in my wardrobe. So of course, I picked up the matching shorts, which actually I do think I would wear matching with this one. Like I think I'd wear the two together when it gets a little bit warmer. But equally, I'll probably wear them just as much separately. So this one, a lovely pair of white jeans or a lovely top with this one, or even just a t-shirt. Last year, I found these shorts with an elasticated waist I wore all of the time lounging in the garden, whether I was doing like actual gardening or DIY work, they're just so comfortable and practical. I found like I was living in them day to day. So I really have my eye out this, this year and you can tell that I've picked up another pair as well too. So they were my H&M picks and actually I am waiting to do a bit more of a H&M haul when I finally go inside. I still haven't been into the stores yet. So I'm dying to go in and actually be able to go into a changing room in H&M again. The other bits are from Zara, so the main reason why I did the order is this dress. I think this might possibly just be my favourite dress ever. The colour tones, the blue and white, it is absolutely stunning. Kind of reminds me of like that perfect Italian summer dress. Love to be able to go to Italy this year. Um, I also really like, I don't often particularly like strappy um, dresses, but this one had um, these kind of like bows coming down over. I think it's just that little bit more feminine and delicate. And it's obviously got the um, siyasaka, is it the siyasaka? Where it pulls you in. I always find this really elegant, kind of goes over the bust area and then falls down. And then you've always got, always? No, you've also got a lovely pleat at the bottom. So this one is quite long in length. It's definitely midi to um, maxi, depending on what your height is. And that one I have in a size small and it was 49.99, so definitely a little bit of a higher price point for Zara, but so worth it, I think. And the next dress I actually picked up because I will go and push it out over there. I had a dress like this from ASOS, nearly exactly the same. I had absolutely adored it. I'll put up some pictures here, I wore it all of the time, but this is it. Can you tell? Very very similar. So this one had buttons and I found even though it was the right size for me, the buttons kept undoing, like it wasn't tight. It was just generally, they would just like pop open during the day, which obviously isn't the most pleasant experience. And it wasn't just over the bust, it was like all down the dress, um, but I wore it all of the time. Always got compliments on it. You guys always wanted to know where it was from. So I had to pick up this Zara one. And it has the most gorgeous detailing. It also comes in at the waist. This one is more of a mini dress though. It was on the higher price point, if I remember. It was 49.99. And I picked this one up in a medium. And I can't remember whether that was because I was thinking it's midi, I'll try and get a bit more length on it and hopefully it will still pull me in. Or it could have already been sold out in the small. And next up from Zara is another dress, a gorgeous striped dress. This is another midi length one. To be honest, I just fell in love with the colours of this one. I thought it would be 
so beautiful over the English summer because it is a knitted dress so it may not be something that we want to wear in like a really hot climate um, but we often have days where it's like a little bit in between and sometimes a summer dress in the UK seems a little bit like off because it's too summery. This one was $29.99 so a little bit better and I got this one in a size small because I already knew. This is going to be very much like a love hate, it's quite wide in the waist, it's quite long but I just thought it would be lovely perhaps with a khaki jacket or denim jacket chucked over the top of it. Still kind of keeping you warm so good for those spring days that we're still having but to be honest I just picked it up because of the stripe. <laughs> I just love the stripe and, and the knit and the colour. What more can I say? <laughs> This one I'm actually not sure about, but again, loved the colours, loved the material, thought that it just had a really effortless feel to it. And I have a Zara dress which has green and white kind of flowers going all over it. And it's this like really oversized, almost tent-like dress. And I wear it all the time and I always get compliments on it. And when I first bought it, I was really worried. I was like, oh, is it too oversized and too baggy? But because it's so floaty and swishy, is what I'm looking for, is that when like you're outside and you're walking along, it kind of like gives movement so it doesn't just feel like a sack of potatoes on you, it like it gives some shape with the movement of the wind and I'm hoping that this one kind of does the same but nonetheless I always find that these dresses are really good to have in the wardrobe hopefully for when we're by a pool or that kind of thing you can chuck it over as more of a cover-up or a day where you're going somewhere like the beach you want to wear something normal to have lunch but then you're also going on and you just want something to fling over when you're a little bit wet or you have a bikini on um yeah so it's quite long it's beautifully tiered thought it'd be lovely and swishy and I actually really like the colours which aren't something that I'd usually go for but it's got like quite like a bright peachy orange and then a light blue. Really into it though, really love the colours. And now on to mango. So I haven't picked up something from mango in such a long time. I used to adore all of their collections but I haven't been feeling it recently but they have some really nice summer stuff in. Firstly, this jumper. I mean, you just can't go wrong with a classic like this. Obviously the classic navy and white striped. I love outfits that are navy and white, so I'd pair this with white jeans or navy trousers or jeans and just the antique brass detailing is really nice. I often find with these cheaper brands, sometimes the buttons can be like a little bit gold or look a little bit cheap, but I actually thought that these looked so beautiful and actually made it look way more expensive than it was. A striped jumper is basically a spring summer classic for me because it's that kind of knit that still suits spring summer but you can take it into all year round. Next up is another oversized blouse but just look at the detailing on this one. I hope you can see because I can't actually see the camera but it is so stunning. It looks so expensive. I actually saw um, a blouse just like this from Anthropology, but it must have been at least double the price last year. I um denied on it, and then I really regretted not picking it up, so I was so glad when I saw this one. It's from their Sustainable Cotton range, which is quite nice. It does feel like really beautiful quality cotton. I love that it has this really nice kind of like long collar with the buttons going up the side there too. It just feels like a beautifully made blouse and you can obviously have it slightly buttoned up or you can do it up. I gravitate to pieces like this all the time on days like today in the UK where I don't want to be wearing dark colours because it is spring but at the same time I don't want to be wearing a summer dress. Next up, the cutest dungarees. I love a lovely pair of dungarees and these are so lovely. I actually wanted to pick these up in every colour that they had. They had like a light greeny, kind of like sagey khaki colour and then a navy as well and I went for these and to be honest it was really hard to pick one of the colours because I just wanted them all and now I'm kind of wishing that I'd picked up the green or maybe the navy but I would have felt that with any colour that I've got. What size did I pick these up in? I can't, I think I went for, yeah so I went for small in these because I didn't want them to be too oversized. I just find these the most comfortable things. I must admit they are the kind of item which you only wear on like a specific day or a specific style. I wouldn't like necessarily wear this into London going shopping, but it's more for that like day to day type style. Around the house, popping into town, kind of doing like the supermarket run in the summer, that kind of thing. It's also just like a really nice item as well to fling on 
when you're um, like on holiday or on a beach, just really easy and not too clingy at all. And these are the other elasticated shorts that I got, but I feel like these look a little bit more smart for going out and about. On camera, I can see that they're showing up like really light blue, but actually to me, they're much more of like a dark royal blue slash navy. And actually the model on the Mango website was wearing like these shorts with a lovely white shirt. Looked so lovely. Totally stealing that style. And I got these in a size small because I didn't want them to be too, too baggy or too oversized. I just know I'll get loads of wear out of those, especially that kind of colour because I think it goes with so many colours. And then I also picked up another pair of shorts, which are more of a chino-y type style. Much smarter. I'm not 100% sure on these, if I'm honest. I've had smart shorts in the past and not particularly worn them, but then I've had occasions where I've been like, oh, I feel like I could do with a smart short. So we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or not. I got these in UK size 10. I really like the colour. I think they'll go with a number of things. They're going to look much nicer with a tan. I'm afraid I didn't pick tan. I haven't picked tan in months, to be honest. So I'm looking pretty pale at the moment. But if they look good on at the moment, then they're going to look much better with a tan. What next? I think I'll show you accessories next. I'm actually waiting. I ordered a dress from Jigsaw and love it, but it had, it basically had a fault with it, so they exchanged it. And the new one is arriving today. So I'm gonna show you that too, but I'll jump into accessories for now until it arrives. I also ordered another dress, but I'll show you that later. So this hat is from Hicks and Brown, and it is the most gorgeous hat. I just adore it. Number one, the coloring, it's handcrafted. I got mine in the size small, but you can measure your head and check out all the different sizes. It's just the most classic hat. I'll pop it on, but I might have to move back a little bit because there you go. So it's a Federer style, but it's wide brim, which is my perfect style. Absolutely love having a wide brim. I feel like the short ones look a little bit too masculine and a bit stumpy. And then I have a lot of beautiful hats, which are way larger, but I tend to not wear them that often, especially in the UK. I feel like they're much better for the hotter climates and probably more so towards a holiday like the Caribbean even, rather than a city break in Paris, for example. So this, I feel like I will be wearing all of the time, whether it's here in the UK or on holiday or a city break. It's just something that I know will go with so many outfits, whether that's a really nice dress or it literally go so nicely just with jeans and a white t-shirt and they actually do this one in three colors so they do a lighter color which i really liked too and also a darker color which i really like also but i thought this one would be really practical especially like handling things like sun cream um i didn't want it to get too marked and i just thought color wise it would go with literally everything so i showed you guys these in another video but i've been wearing them around the house and i Love them. So they're the Tiva sandals. These are there. They like do lots of different pairs. These are the more, they're like on the cheaper side, so they're £40. I love the colour. I think it's feminine. I could again wear it with all the outfits and styles that I've got here, but at the same time, it's that really practical sandal, which is something that I had been missing in my wardrobe. And I was wearing kind of like leather sandals to the beach in the sea. Just wasn't making sense. And I think the last few years in particular, the kind of like more sporty sandal has really upped its game in a more feminine way. Um, so I'm interested to try a few more styles and pairs like this. And unfortunately I've been trying to find some sandals. I think I said in my clear out video that sandals was the one thing that I was really looking for. I've ordered from so many companies, Office, June, Bowden, um, and had to turn them all back, like return them because just none of them were fitting. I have quite a narrow foot, so this actually really works for that. But I also love these, which I'm afraid are a little bit skanky now. I'm gonna cover the toe because it's not the prettiest thing. I wonder, I might be able to find a picture of these on, but they're kind of like that gladiator Grecian style sandal. And they've got this beautifully light um, string to them and they look amazing, especially with the color tone with all dresses. It just really, really elongates your leg without having something too clumpy or harsh. And they are, these were super soft. Did I say these were from Aldo? But I got these probably about two, maybe, probably no, no, three or four years ago now and I've been trying to replace them and I just can't. Um, I actually have a pair from Mango, which I picked up. 
I'll show you them, hang on. <laughs> Okay, so here's the comparison. None of you asked for this, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Um, the mango ones, can you tell they have like a really thick, kind of like harsh strap to them? And I just know, like I haven't even undone this bow bit, but I know that that won't tie up nicely over the leg. And it's just not gonna be comfy in general, whereas these are so soft. They're a much more like delicate strap to them and just go beautifully over the feet. So anyway, I'm on the hunt, I'll let you know if I find any, any that compare to this, Aldo aren't doing any at the moment. I know that on Netta Porta, I think it's even called like something on the Grecian side, but their sandals like this are £100 plus, so I'm just trying to find something kind of in the middle, but yeah. Anyway, wow, I went down a little tangent on that, didn't I? <laughs> Good news, the door just went and the jigsaw stuff has arrived before it got too dark so I can show you guys. This is the dress that I was lusting after uh, and I do just adore it. Partly the neckline, it was something that I felt like, I know I have a lot of dresses and I'm looking at them right now, but the darker scale I don't have a huge amount of. Often I find dresses are black, I find them a bit severe, but navy, gorgeous. And this one is so sophisticated, uh, partly I think because of this neck line I don't know if you can see that there it's really pretty and it's all ruched together and it goes through the back and then it's got these lovely puffed sleeves which come in at the end there and then it tears down it is so pretty as you may be able to see there though and in the cutouts for the price because it was 165 I was lucky to get 20% off of it and I got it in the UK size 8 but really it needs a slip underneath that it's a bit unfortunate that Jigsaw didn't already put a slip underneath it, and I suppose a lot of people would just wear it see-through, um, but I will be wearing a navy slip with this one. So that's something to bear in mind when you're ordering it. But whilst I was ordering that one, I also saw this, and I just couldn't resist ordering it and seeing, uh, I definitely wasn't expecting to get another nice dress, so unless it is, you know, like really, really nice, I'm probably not going to keep it. I also got this one in a size 8. It was around the same price point. But I just thought this blue was so gorgeous. So this one's more of a mini dress. But same kind of feel with the puff sleeves. I just, yeah, thought this one was really, really beautiful. And it was something that I saw myself wearing a lot. <laughs> Trying to justify it now. But yeah. Let me know if I should keep it or not. Or send it back and be good. <laughs> And that is everything I've been picking up recently. I hope you enjoyed watching me try some of the bits on, seeing what I have new in. I'm definitely gonna be doing some shopping trips soon, so stay tuned for that to actually be able to go in. I think as well for the sandals, I might need to go into some places and actually try them on. But I hope that you guys are all good. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.